Hi, this is Dr. Don, and I have a problem here out of Chapter 9 in McClave. And it is an academic problem, one that you probably won't see much in the real world, but it helps you understand how to interpret uh, the output from ANOVAs. And here we have a comparison of four, four, four means, mean 1, mu1, mu2, mu3, and mu4. And they want us to rank them from smallest to largest and decide which are significantly different based on the endpoints for the confidence intervals. When I work on these kind of problems, I like to see uh, these things. And one way I do that uh, pretty quickly is just use an Excel uh, spreadsheet to uh, highlight those. Okay, I, I brought up the uh, spreadsheet and it takes a few minutes the first time you do one of these things but it's it's well worth doing uh, to keep you from making uh, simple mistakes what I did there was just list my pairs 1 minus 2 remember we're subtracting mu uh, 2 from mu 1 mu 3 from mu 1 mu 4 from mu 1 and so on so I put those pairs down there. This is comparing 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 1 and 4, 2 and 3, 2 and 4, 3 and 4. And I put in the lower limit and the upper limit from these confidence intervals. And then to help me see things, uh, I just uh, fill the cells, color coded them, with green if it was a positive value and red if it was a negative value. Uh, helps me kind of visualize these confidence intervals. And so the first question you ask, does the interval include no? Well, if both the lower limit and the upper limit are green, are either positive, then it does not include zero. Here though, for comparing one and four, we've got a red and a green. That means it does include zero. Zero is in between minus 11 and four. 0 is in between minus 4 and plus 11, so those are yeses. And then the last two pairs, 2 and 4 and 3 and 4, are in the negative side, so again, it does not include 0. If it does include 0, then there's no significant difference. So these two pairs, 1 and 4 and 2 and 3, do not differ statistically. But the other four pairs, 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 2 and 4, and 3 and 4 do differ significantly. And so then you're going to come up with a conclusion. In this first one, this is 1 minus 2 is positive because the, the difference there of mu1 minus mu2 has to be in the green. That means it's positive. That means 1 is greater than 2. In the second pair, 1 minus 3, the difference, again, is in the positive side, both greens. That means 1 is greater than 3. We ignore these two pairs where there's no difference. Then we look at mu2 minus mu4. That difference is negative. That means 4 is greater than 2. And again, 3 minus 4, mu3 minus mu4, is negative that means 4 is greater than 3 so those are your conclusions 1 is greater than 2 and 3 and 4 is greater than 2 and 3 or the way they uh, presented it here it said that mu2 and mu3 are less than 1 and 4 which is the same thing I've got right there and they want to know which means are significantly different and we just select the ones and that becomes right there. 2 and 4, 3 and 4, 1 and 2, and 1 and 3. So...